Space is not quiet, it's alive, with ancient travelers streaking through the darkness at unimaginable speeds. They're icy, dusty, and older than Earth itself. And today, we're counting down the 10 fastest comets ever recorded, from legendary sun grazers that skim the sun's surface, to interstellar wanderers that came from beyond our solar system. Strap in, because by the end of this video, your concept of fast will never be the same. Before we dive in, what actually makes a comet move this fast? It all comes down to gravity. The closer a comet swings toward the sun, the more it's pulled and the faster it accelerates. Some even dive so close they brush the sun's surface, reaching hundreds of kilometers per second. True cosmic speed demons. Others are visitors from deep space, flying on hyperbolic orbits. They're not bound to the sun at all, just passing through at insane velocities. 10. Kicking off our list is something truly exotic. The third interstellar object ever discovered, the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or simply known as 3I Atlas. Spotted in 2024 by the Atlas Telescope System in Hawaii, it came hurtling through our solar system at around 130,000 miles per hour. That's about 58 kilometers per second. 3I Atlas wasn't born here. It was ejected from another star system millions, maybe billions of years ago, and it'll never return. Think about that. A cosmic traveler from another sun just passing through and gone forever. Fun fact, interstellar objects like 3I Atlas may carry the chemistry of alien worlds. At number nine, we have the Ikea Zhang, a comet so bright it could be seen with the naked eye in 2002. It raced past the sun at nearly 59 kilometers per second, roughly 132,000 miles per hour. This comet has an orbit lasting over 360 years, meaning it last visited Earth back when Galileo was still alive. So if you missed it in 2002, better mark your calendars for the year 2363. Coming in at number eight in the late 2023, sky watchers were treated to a rare cosmic guest, Comet Nishimura, a glowing green wanderer discovered by a Japanese amateur astronomer using nothing more than a digital camera. Racing around the sun at nearly 200,000 miles per hour, Nishimura blazed through the inner solar system, its emerald tail shimmering in the dawn sky. But its fiery beauty came at a price. The sun's heat was too intense. Within days, the comet disintegrated completely. For a fleeting moment, it reminded us how breathtaking and fragile our cosmic visitors can be. Number seven belongs to 96P Machholz, one of the strangest periodic comets we know. Every five years, it swings perilously close to the sun and reaches blistering speeds of 122 kilometers per second or 272,000 miles per hour. Scientists think Machholz may have come from another star system too. It's missing the carbon and cyanogen that most comets have. Either it's an alien visitor or it's been baked by the sun one too many times. At number six, we travel back to 1882 where the night sky was set ablaze by a mysterious visitor. The Comet C-1882 F1 Wells, commonly known as the Great Comet of 1882. Racing through space at an incredible 171 kilometers per second, this icy wanderer became one of the fastest comets ever recorded. With a glowing tail stretching millions of kilometers, it dazzled astronomers armed with little more than paper charts and patience. Wells Comet was part of the legendary Kreutz Sun Grazer family. Comets so daring they skim the surface of the sun itself and often don't survive the encounter. A brief blaze of glory, then gone forever. Discovered by NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory spacecraft, Comet 322P is a tiny but mighty sun grazer. It's so close to the sun during its orbit that it hits speeds of about 187 kilometers per second faster than any human-made spacecraft. To put that in perspective, at that speed, you could travel from New York to Tokyo in less than a minute. Number four, the Comet du Trois, another member of the infamous kreutz sungrazer family. These comets dive so close to the sun that most never come back. Du Trois was estimated to reach 489 kilometers per second. That's 1.1 million miles per hour. Sadly, it was short-lived. 
Within days of discovery, it disintegrated into solar dust. Our bronze medal goes to Comet Lovejoy, the Christmas Comet of 2011. Astronomers thought it would burn up as it dove just 140,000 kilometers above the sun's surface, less than half the Earth-Moon distance. But it survived, racing away at 536 kilometers per second before finally breaking apart days later. For a moment, it was one of the most beautiful and resilient comets ever seen. In second place, the Great Comet of 1843, a celestial spectacle so bright it was visible in broad daylight. It reached an unbelievable 566 kilometers per second, making it one of the fastest objects ever recorded in our solar system. Its tail stretched over 300 million kilometers across the sky, longer than the distance from the sun to Mars. Imagine standing in 1843, looking up and seeing a glowing sword across the heavens. And at number one, the fastest comet ever recorded, C 1887B1, the Great Southern Comet. At its peak, it blazed past the sun at an astonishing 606 kilometers per second, nearly 1.4 million miles per hour. That's 2,000 times faster than a rifle bullet and over 100 times faster than NASA's Parker Solar Probe at full speed. It was so close to the sun that it was never visible at night, only as a shimmering ghost at sunrise. Within days, it disintegrated completely, leaving nothing but a memory in the records of 19th century astronomers. These comets, ancient, fleeting, unstoppable, remind us how dynamic our solar system really is. Some come from distant stars, Others are fragments of our own system's violent past. They burn bright, move fast, and vanish. But each one carries a piece of cosmic history. And maybe, just maybe, one day we'll send a probe fast enough to chase one down and learn what secrets ride inside these messengers of ice and fire. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the ride, hit that like button, subscribe, and keep your eyes on the sky, because the next great comet might already be on its way.